How you doing? My name is Stacy, and let's bake some bread. Today we're gonna make a baguette. So let's get the ingredients first. First thing we have is one kilogram of flour. I like to use grams. I like to use the metric system. A little more precise, a little more exact. Um, we're gonna have 20 grams of salt and eight grams of yeast and 650 grams of water. With bread, the trick is water. Some people use the infrared guns to shoot around, get the temperature. I just use this little guy. And the trick to making bread right is getting the temperatures right. This bread, when we're done developing it, we want the bread temperature to be at 80 degrees. How do you get 80 degrees? Well, you're gonna get the temperature of the room, temperature of the flour, so you can get the right temperature of the water. So, like I said, I just use this little thing. Air temperature right now, 75 degrees. Flour temperature, 74 degrees. So, right there we got 75 and 74, 149. <clears throat> you have to add some more temperature for the friction of the bowl. I use a little bowl, so I'm going to add 20 degrees. So right now we're sitting at 169. And we're trying to get to a bread temperature of 80. So to get that 80, you got to three times that number. So we got 240 is what we have to start with. So 240 from, what did I say, 169? We're gonna have a bread temp a water temperature of 71 degrees. Okay, if it's too high, it'll kill the yeast. If it's too low, it'll take forever to ferment. So, we want 71 degrees. You at your house, if the room temperature is 80 degrees, hot room, your flowers will be right around there as well. So you're automatically six, sitting at 160, <clears throat> plus the 20 on friction at 180 you're gonna need your, your water at 60 degrees. So, you always want the bread temperature to come out, the final temperature of the dough to come out for baguettes to be 80 degrees. So, next step. Gonna get a blender out. This is my bad boy. This is my boy, my girl. She does a great job, had her. Since 2006, 13 years. Or this might've been a wedding present. So, 02, 17 years. Anyway. The trick is for bread, putting it in the right order. First thing. Water. Like I said, it's 650 grams. Otherwise, one pound, six ounces, which is 22 ounces. Around the world, a pint, basically an ounce of water equals an ounce of weight. So I've got 22 ounces of weight here, of water. Throw the water in. I like to put a little spin on it. Drop the yeast in. One time I just dumped the yeast in. Had a bad experience. So now I always just do that. Now, if you throw the salt in, it kills the yeast. Slows it down. So you don't want to put the salt in. You've got the bread, or I'm sorry, the yeast and the water. Now we're going to throw in the flour. You can use all-purpose flour. It'll work. My sister-in-law uses spelt. It'll work. I use all Montana high gluten flour. Get that in there. Last thing, salt. 
Now when you start it up, start off on slow. This is what we call pickup. All it's going to do is just slowly incorporate it. Um, if you don't have one of these machines and you're doing everything by hand and you're needing it, first get one of these machines. Secondly, you're going to need it for a while. Um, it's called a short mix. You'll be needing for about 20 minutes. This method, do this for two, three minutes. Let it slowly pick up everything. And I'll show you what the pickup stage looks like here. When it's done, get everything out of the way. Over in the sink. Now it's getting there. On these little ones, not like the ones we use at the restaurant, so every once in a while I like to turn it off, give it a good push on the sides. As you can see in there, it's at least kind of incorporated. Push it back down in there, lock it. Okay. Everything's incorporated. So now, speed it up. And what we're doing right now is developing gluten. The more I do this, closer the uh, cells are gonna be on the flour. So, we're gonna mix this down. Keep mixing, keep mixing. Got this guy ready to go. Stick it in the bread, see what we got. Bread temperature, 79 degrees. So I'm, oh, 80. So I'm pretty much there. what I do? Get one of these guys. little spray this into there you can push it down push it to the bottom cover it which I'll show you here in a second and then go put away on baguettes, we're doing what you call a double fermentation. So basically, you get this, go put it upstairs or wherever you want to put it for about an hour. Get this out of your way. After that hour, It should have doubled in size. When it does, like I said, not this one. When you came back from the first one, dump it out of the bowl, and you always fold it like that, okay? Once it's folded, throw it back in the bowl. Cover it. Boom, I usually use aluminum foil or saran wrap, put it away. Luckily, I've already done one. And here it is. It's already doubled in size. And this bad boy is ready to go. Now baguettes. Making 19 ounce rolls. Pop it out. Let's see what we got here. Here it is. Make sure you got a little dust on the table. Help you work with it. Get all the gas out of it. Okay. 
to say 18 ounce, or you go with ounces. Boom. That was 20 ounces. 19 ounces. One. Now we get these water, get these ready. Might need a little flour on your workspace. Get this. Flatten it out, fold that in, tuck it, fold this in, tuck it, you get these, just like they're going to keep folding and tucking. And you want to make sure they're not coated with flour, first one, second one, third one. Push it down, fold the ends in, if it's not really working for you, you can spray it with water, I just bring a little thing of water over with me. And when you do this, you want to fold and tuck, and what you're doing is just tightening that up. Pinch them together, put it right there. Last one, same thing. Flatten it down, fold it in, fold it in, roll and tuck. Easy peasy. Once you got them made, you can see, they're not all exact, they're not exactly the same. Okay. Now we're going to, we call it bench proof. We're going to just cover them with a little piece of plastic. I don't need any comments in the comment section about that little move right there. We'll be all right. Okay. So before you cover it, light dusting. Some people, well, most people, I can't seem to find mine. Just use a sieve. We're gonna do just give it a little bit of flour. All oh, this is coming off later anyway. Okay, the flour cover up. Let the thing do its thing for 30 minutes. I already did one for you. Make sure they're good. Get it. I get flat. Fold. Tuck. Fold and tuck, fold and tuck, pinch them together. Oh, there we go. Last one. Make it flat, get all the gas out of it. What we're fixing to do now is we're fixing to proof these guys. What I did is I've got, I turned my oven up to about 150, got it going, then turned it off. And I stuck a cake sheet in there. 
cake pan. And on that cake pan, or in that cake pan, water. That water will keep the crust soft, allowing it to expand. All this is going to do is hold my breads right here, right there, boom, boom, boom. Last one, right there. Boop. There's my loaves of bread, my baguettes, ready to be proofed. Put my pants up. I'll proof them on this bad boy. Here we go. So, last thing. Flour off of them. A little bit of water. And then throw them in the oven will improve 15 minutes. I'll see you back then. Okay, we've had them proof it in here for 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Let's pull them out. I mean, that's not even really hot. So what we're going to do, we're supposed to proof at 80 degrees for like 30 minutes. What we're going to do is let them finish proofing and we're turn our stoves on. See, I turn mine on convection so I get the fans going. 425 start. And like I said, inside of here, there is a cake sheet, you know, that by that with water in it. And this is making steam for this stuff. Okay. So what we're going to do is get a knife. Okay, I'm put a dusting of flour on it. As you can see right here, it's starting to come undone. Oh, I forgot to mention, when you... you pinch it together when you roll it out and you pinch it together always make sure the bottom where the the seam is is on the very bottom okay so here's what we're going to do here's our bread as you can see it's quite a bit bigger okay these aren't necessary Okay. I'm gonna come back. Don't want to do like this. You don't want to cut into it. You want to cut like zip. Hmm. Not the sharpest knife. I'm gonna say that's Monica's knife. Let's see one of these. And you see it automatically just opening up. Look at that stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Automatically just all open them. 
opening right up. Okay. Put these knives up. And also, by the way, I was a little wrong. I said they needed to be 19 ounce. No. Oh, I didn't put a good amount of... You gotta be careful with these guys. Um, I said 19 ounces. No, they needed to be 14. My bad. Okay. So right now the oven's still heating up. What I'm going to do is let these... Proof. A little bit more right here. And as you can see, already pretty beautiful. Was when you move them from one to one, it's gonna be kind of delicate. Okay. So now we're just waiting stove to heat up. Once it gets to temperature, I'll throw them in at 425 for 19, 20 minutes until nice and brown. Um, before you throw them in, we will hit them one more time with water and a brush. Throw them in there. Um, like I said, there is a cake pan in there with water providing steam. What I will do is a little bit of water as soon as I throw this in the stove the oven I'm sorry as soon as I put it in the oven I'll throw it hit the bottom with water it causes a lot of steam shut the stove let these cook for 20 minutes or 10 minutes after 10 minutes I'll go in there and I'll pull that cake pan out then let them keep cooking so I'll see you when I pull them out of the oven Got like 50 seconds before we pull it out of the oven. A couple of things I didn't mention, but now will. Uh, the bread before I put it back on the pan. Sprayed it down with Pam, Easy Bake, whatever. This is Versa All Purpose Food Release Spray. This was a pan that I had with water, the cake sheet uh, tray, sheet pan with water in it. And that kept the bread from ripping okay last <coughs> excuse me 10 seconds um smells incredible i haven't looked at it so we're gonna look at it here in the next five four two we had it at 425 for 20 minutes That's what we got. Now when you're done cooking it, go ahead and make sure it's done. Thump the bottom. It's gotta sound hollow. If it doesn't, no way no my friend. This right here looks really good. So, oh no, what a rookie mistake. So yeah, there is water in these. So that's what it is. Flour, salt, yeast, and water. That's what we made. Let me know what you think. Have a great day. <laughs> that would have been. I just would have walked up like, that's, uh, that's what we got. So, let's crack one open. These guys right here. This is ridiculous. I'll bring it over to you. So, 
So that's what we made today. We'll try to do something new every week. Have a great day.